Hello folks. Well this year I decided I wanted to fly some of my vintage nitro engines models. I didn't fly any nitro at all last year. I used to only fly nitro as that's all we had back in the 60s. Well, I still have some really cool old stuff including these old engines and even a brand new never run cam B61. So as you know I recently put a Cox Peewee 020 on my mini Cessna 182 and you can see it really cranks versus the stock electric. So out of a random act of kindness, one of my longtime subscribers, Charles Klein, over at Candela Research, sent me a couple of engines along with his thrust measuring test stand, which you're going to get to see. So both engines are TD-020s. One is a very earlier one with a carburetor throttle and a different kind of head, plus the stock TD. He also sent me a Sato 100 four-stroke, so we're going to clean them up and run them. The engine I didn't expect that I'd have to take apart was the Sato, so wait and see why. Here we go. So this engine, uh, this is the glow plug that came out of it and uh, it screws on just fine. This is a standard O2O glow plug out of that engine right there. And as you can see, it just sits on there. It will not screw on, it just, it's too uh, small. And this is an 049 glow plug out of an 049. As you can see, that is too big. It will not screw in. So, hmm. They're both Cox O2Os. Should be the same. Well, they're not, but at least they work. Filling the tank up here. I better not fill it up too much because I don't want it to run all day. Back is open. Forward is closed. Okay, well I really never had very good luck idling O2Os or even O49s. So there's just so little compression in this well-run engine that it idles even harder because the glow plug has to remain hot. Either way, I'm really happy to see this relic run. Okay, let's try that O2O standard TD and see if it runs. Well, I was going to pull the tank to clean this all out, but there are some cracks, one in the front and then one on the tank. One that's already been repaired with super glue. So I elected not to take the chance. So let's go ahead and see how it runs anyway. Here we go. Well, Charles also sent me his test stand. This is the Candelic test stand, and it's for measuring thrust. And uh, normally, you'd probably be using it for electric. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and run the uh, Sato 100 on here. I've mounted my servo driver here so I can adjust the throttle up here. I've added a tank. And uh, I've just got a battery on here to run this. And uh, it's pretty cool the way it works is uh, you put your weight scale under it. Like this. And now, with the thrust of the engine, that will put weight on the scale 
And this is scientifically figured out so that it actually works. So we're going to go ahead and test that SATA 120. Well, first, let's put that Cox TD-020 on and see what kind of thrust we get out of that little thing. Zero, tear, and there we go. All right. Let's a little fuel in it. Little juice in here. Wow, 3.6 ounces. That's pretty good. Well, that really runs great. So, wait till you see what I'm going to put this on. Okay, it's time to get the big stuff out now. Well, this is a Sato FA100 four-stroke engine. It has valves for the intake and exhaust. I never tried to take the Sato 120 apart that I have in my J3 Cub. And although this engine looked clean, I decided to remove the rocker covers to make sure everything was working and there was enough gap. And this is what happened next. Nothing. Doesn't sound like it's uh, wanting to do anything. His is like a head gasket leak, except there's no head gasket. I keep thinking to myself, this doesn't sound right. Should go. getting enough pressure for some reason there's no fuel going in like the timing or something is way off it blows back The way the bubbles are blowing back into the tank, it's like the exhaust and the intake are backwards. Well, my guess is still that the timing is messed up on this thing. And uh, normally I wouldn't take the engine apart. I hate to have to do it, but I'm going to check the timing on this thing. Well, I really couldn't tell by looking at it when I pulled everything apart because everything moved and I wasn't sure what to expect. So I just went ahead and set the timing up the way you're supposed to set it up. And, you know, when I put it back together, it turned over. And now it feels like it has compression. Everything's working right. Let's see if it starts. Yeah, that's working the way it's supposed to now. All right. Let's see how it goes. Oh, yeah! Right on! Look at Sounds 
rich. So I'm going to close this. One turn. Here I'm adjusting the low end needle valve. I'm going to go ahead and turn that in. And uh, so that'll lean that out for the better idle. Well, you know, single cylinder four strokes this powerful, they vibrate a lot. But on this stand, there are loose bearings here because it's supposed to move and everything. And uh, it's just quick disconnect. So it looks like it's vibrating a lot worse than it is. Well, the rattling here is actually all the loose screws on the test stand. They're supposed to be loose. And my exhaust deflector copper tube there uh, going down on the bottom because it rattles. <laughs> Not the engine. I think I've got it tuned up pretty good. Let's check the thrust using Candela's test stand. This is a 15. Six propeller is not what's recommended for this, but that's what I'm using for this test So I'm probably gonna have less speed and less RPM, but more thrust uh, At least more than probably what the specs call for. Okay, we got it set at zero. Let's go ahead and start it up and see what we get like a little over seven pounds there. Well, I certainly can't argue with that. It's on the recommended prop. It averages about 6.2 pounds, just like it shows in the specifications. So Charles, thanks so much for this random act of kindness and for these engines. I really enjoyed getting them set up and run. I hope all of you enjoyed actually seeing them run. Well, I intend to put this engine on my Aero Master 2. So watch for that and God bless. This is Dave the Night Flyer, signing off till next time.